video, I'm going to review some geometry terms and provide you with some examples of elements we might be using during our unit. I'm going to talk about polygons, angles, triangles, and the language of geometry. So first, a polygon. A polygon is classified as a closed figure. It must have three or more line segments, and we name our polygons based on the number of sides it has. Uh, angles. <clears throat> Here are some examples of angles. Uh, an acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. A right angle is exactly 90 degrees, and we know that because there, it would, there would be a symbol, this sort of half square symbol, that identifies this as being a right angle. An obtuse angle is an angle that it go, it goes beyond 90 degrees, but um, not past 180 degrees. And a reflex angle is an angle that extends beyond 180 degrees. Triangles. <clears throat> we have three types of triangles, and they are identified based on their length of sides and their angles. So uh, we have scalene, equilateral, and isosceles. I recommend that you practice how to spell that one. It's a little bit tricky. Qualities of a triangle, we know that all angles need to add up to 180 degrees, and there are different ways that we can get there. In a scalene triangle, all the sides are, are of equal length, sorry, all sides are um, different, all the lengths are different, and all the angles are different. In an equilateral triangle, all side lengths are equal and all angles are equal. And we know that because there are these symbols that identify these side lengths are equal, and we know that that means that also the angles must also be equal. In an isosceles triangle, there are two equal sides, as you can see by these symbols, and there are also two equal angles. All right, the language of geometry. <clears throat> these are some terms that we're going to be using during this unit, and I wanted to demonstrate to you how you would correctly write these uh, write these terms out when you're identifying them on a diagram. So point, line, ray, line segment, and angle. So point is literally a point on a line, and it's identified with a dot. So if I wanted to write point A, I would write dot with my uh, capital letter to identify it. A line. A line is identified as a line with an arrow on either side. This symbolizes that the line continues on those, in those two directions forever. And we write that, again, capital letters, line AB, or whatever line it, it's, it's called, and, and with the line symbol over top. Array. Array has a starting point, so as you can see there's a dot here, and then a line that continues off in any direction with an arrow to show that it continues going in that direction. Uh, array does not have to go in this direction, it can go this way, it can go whichever way, but it must have a starting point and then an arrow. Uh, to identify it, we write capital letters again, so ray AB, and then the symbol for ray over top. Line segment. Line segment differs from line in that, is a, in that it is a section of a line. So we have the line with the arrows extending, but our line segment, we're only just talking about a portion of that line. And the section is identified with two points, as you can see here. If I want to identify my line segment, I write capital letters A, B, but I don't write this symbol because that's for line. The symbol for line segment is just a straight line. And then angle. When I'm identifying angles, I draw an acute angle and then identify A, B, C, or whatever the angle is labeled, remembering that the middle letter represents where the angle is. Okay, so let's look at our diagram. I have three lines, and they intersect with other lines. I want to identify three points in my diagram. Remember, a point is identified with literally a point, a dot, and I have three of them. I have point A, point B, and point C, and I've identified them here. My lines, remember our lines are a line with arrows on either side that continue on uh, forever. So I have line RS. I have line JK, and my third line, line PQ. Now, on line RS, I have a line segment. And remember, a line segment is it's the section of the line that is identified by two points. So I have point A and point C. So AC would be my line segment. Ray. Remember, a ray has a starting point and then a line that goes off in any direction and continues on forever. So I have to start at a point. So I've decided to start at point C, and then my ray continues here. 
It's not B, because that, uh, that would be a line segment. In order for it to be a ray, it has to be a point and then a line that continues on. So ray um, CJ, uh, sorry, ray CJ and ray BP. There's one other one on there. Maybe you can find it. And then my angles. So I do my acute angle, BAC, realizing that my center letter has to represent where the angle is. So BAC. So this is my angle that I'm drawing, and that's where my angle is. And then angle ACB. ACB. So there's my angle. That would be the angle there. So there's just some review of some terms we'll need for this unit.